Hello, everybody. Um, so really, you know, you kind of have gone through the first couple tasks um, that I've had you guys do, Ed Puzzle and the little intro slide that I had, kind of recapping some of the Treaty of Versailles uh, information. You know, ultimately, guys, one of the things I really want you guys to kind of get out of this is that, 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 that theme of, like, good versus evil. Um, you got to understand, um, you know, this war um, obviously was a war that Americans and really the rest of the world wanted to try to avoid. Um, that was the whole point in President Woodrow Wilson's 14-point plan, avoid war, avoid a future war, and, and ultimately the, the, the creation of the League of Nations um, was supposed to prevent all this. Um, but as we, as you guys have saw, as you've learned, um, even last year on Global and through the Ed Puzzle and through that first slide, um, there were things that happened in the 20s and 30s that's going to lead to some of these uh, these totalitarian dictators like the Hitler and a Stalin and Mussolini and Hirohito Tojo uh, in Japan um, that are going to um, basically force a lot of the upper hand in terms of entering another war. Uh, the human rights violations that they're going to uh, endure, uh, you know, as you saw in the video, Stalin killing over 24 million uh, people of his own people, obviously with Hitler, um, you know, using his power and the, the authority of the Nazi party to build like this extreme nationalistic um, idea um, that's going to place all the blame on, on, on Jews. Uh, for their problems, um, so you have this, this good versus evil. Obviously, here's a you know a picture of Winston Churchill and FDR, uh, George George Clemenceau, France, um, on how you know a lot, a lot of the Amer a lot of American people were on board with with World War II because of this idea of evil and human rights violations against the, the, you know, this, you know, the other side is being evil and the violation of democracy and human right violations. Um, so, um, you know, this is going to lead to, again, another large, large scale of war, uh, as you have seen, uh, and as you'll learn more about throughout the course of this uh, unit. Um, but ultimately, the, you know, the key question is, and the, you know, the, the underlying theme is, is, you know, what are we fighting for? Um, I think this 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 slide really says it all. Um, you know, you have the Japanese um, going into China and using bacteria bombs uh, in China, and um, the rape of Nanking on how they're going to kill millions of Ch uh, of Chinese, um, and their treatment towards American POWs um, is going to be absolutely brutal, like the Bataan Death March. Um, here's you know some American POWs right here on this on this uh, picture down here in the middle on the bottom, on how they're gonna uh, you know starve, um, brutally torture um, you know U.S. soldiers. Um, you know as you guys you, know, you may or may not know um, John McCain. Um, he passed away I think about a year ago, um, but he was an American POW. Uh, he was captured by the Japanese and put into camps for I think about five years I believe. Um, then obviously you have the Holocaust and, you know, all the atrocities that, um, that, that the Jews all across Europe are going to endure in some of these concentration camps like Auschwitz or Dachau. Um, so, you know, this is going to really inspire, not only Pearl Harbor, um, but ultimately this is going to really, is going to inspire, um, not only Americans, but citizens from all of the world that, you know, there's more at stake than just winning or losing. You know, there's, there, you know, the stake of really the, the human race uh, and what's decent and what's good, um, you know, in the world and how we have to fight for that. All right. Um, so kind of just kind of going through this really quick, kind of seeing some of the, you know, we sh I showed you guys this in World War One, but kind of showing you guys some of the, some of the devastation uh, from the war. You kind of see this here. I mean, Soviet Union, 13.6 million deaths. It's also including, it's plus an additional 7.7 .7 million civilians. So, guys, right there alone, just in Soviet Union, World War II, you're talking about 20 million lives lost. Um, then you're talking about Germany, 3.2 million military deaths, 3.8 uh, in terms of civilian. So, right, right there alone, you're talking about 7 million. So, just these two countries alone, we have 27 million deaths just in these two countries. It's not including Japan and obviously China. You have right here, you have 1.3 million Chinese uh, military and then 10 million civilian. Um, so, guys, the amount of deaths, um, both militarily and civilian, was devastating. Um, a lot more than World War One, because um, 
because again, because of this totalitarian belief of you know killing off your enemies or placing blame on your enemy. Uh, plus, the weapons were much more sophisticated as well during World War II with the technology. Um, so, but by the way, here's the, here's the, some of the things down here in the bottom. For this is World War One down here. So you can kind of see that the the amount of deaths is just a lot more devastating from World War One. Um, kind of going through this really quick, you know, kind of this is a you know you guys ever heard hear of uh, Jesse Owens? Um, he is an Ohio State guy, actually from the Cleveland area. Uh, but the 1936 Olympics was in Berlin. Hitler and the Nazi Party hosted the Olympics uh, in 1936 in Berlin. Um, and obviously, if you guys have learned some of you know Hitler's you know racial uh, ideas and beliefs, um, and Jesse Owens is an African American man, went to Germany and he won a ton of gold medals there. Um, competed, and this you know really kind of is gonna. Um, you know, put a dent into uh, Hitler's racial beliefs as an Aryan race uh, feeling more superior. Um, but, you know, the story goes that Hitler refused to shake the hand of Jesse Owens, wouldn't even really acknowledge him. Um, so it's kind of an interesting story, kind of uh, Ohio-related, Ohio State. Um, so obviously Jesse Owens is one of the greatest track athletes of all time. Um Kind of skip that. Okay, so some of the things I want to talk about too, some of the experimentation. Um, you know, the Nazis were known for using medical experimentation on Jews or on prisoners to uh, try and basically try to create a super soldier. You know, how, you know, what are some things that they can do during war to enhance their military? Um, so one of the things that they did was an oxygen chamber testing. This is mostly used to protect uh, um, German pilots, Nazi pilots. So what they did is they took they took Jews and they, you can see by this picture here, they infused oxygen into their body to basically see how much oxygen can the body take before it basically died. Uh, and German scientists would do studies, experiment, and see exactly and read all the levels of this to basically see how high can German pilots go um, or how much can they survive on different oxygen levels. Um, so they would do this and test it on some of their prisoners. Uh, seawater injection, same thing if, if a pilot or a seaman were to um, go into the water, how long can they survive on salt water? So they would inject seawater into the arms of you know Jews or other prisoners uh, and again do the different experiments to see how much exactly they could consume um, before they died. Um, also uh, they would slice open the wounds of um, people and infect them with bacteria, diseases, glass, to basically see how long the body can fight off infection. Um, so, it's brutal. Um, hypothermia, they would, sorry, they would put, uh, hypo, they would put their, uh, their prisoners and, and, and um, Jews into freezing cold water to the same thing, to test how long they can survive um, in this environment before their body begins to shut down. Um, and you have the uh, for obvious reasons, guys. The Nazis were fascinated with twins. Obviously, the Aryans want, and the Nazis wanted to try to expand the human race, expand the Aryans uh, as much as they could. So, obviously, with twins, it's twice the rate on how they can, um, you know, build the perfect race or create more Aryans. Um, so they would cut off the arms and limbs of twins and try to reattach them onto the other to see if they could work. Um, so just crazy stuff, guys. Uh, infuse them together like this. So just very sad things. All right, so anyway, I just wanted to go over this with you guys. Um, so anyway, um, you guys can move on to your next task.